This CAN bus EKD-01 for Bafang e-bike conversion display was programmed and created by Varstrom. Here is a detailed introduction to all its functions. The display uses an IPS full view color screen and the integrated button design is equipped with three buttons for easy operation. The charging interface is USB-C which can provide a current output of 5 volts dash 1 amp. Its waterproof level reaches IP67 and can adapt to a variety of complex environments. I made a picture of the size for pause viewing. Press and hold the power button to start the display. The main page integrates rich information including headlight prompts, Bluetooth prompts, brake reminders, navigation indicators, maintenance reminders, power display, total mileage display, and single mileage display. And the writing status is clear at a glance. In terms of operation, click the plus key or minus sign to change the gear. Long press the plus key to turn on or off the light. Long press the minus key to start the boost mode. Short press the power button to enter the settings menu, which covers multiple functions such as display instrument settings, information viewing, language settings, password settings, Bluetooth level distance settings, and factory reset. In the display settings, you can choose imperial or metric units to display progress. You can also set the automatic shutdown time, reset ODO, total mileage, and trip, single mileage operations. Adjust the screen brightness, and freely choose third, fifth, or ninth gears. Here is battery level origin. Select the voltage that matches your battery. Return to the main menu and enter the information view column, where there is a lot of important information. Among them, the password 2020 is required to modify the wheel size information. The same password is required to modify the speed limit. It is worth noting that the speed limit cannot be adjusted when it is locked. You need to unlock the speed limit before you can adjust the value. The unlocking method is to press and hold the plus and minus keys at the same time on the main page to enter the speed adjustment display page. At this time, the page is locked and cannot be adjusted. You need to click the power button to confirm to unlock. Press the plus and minus keys again. Enter the page and you will find that the speed limit has been unlocked and the menu page will also show that the speed limit has been unlocked. In addition, you can also view the display information and battery information here to understand the health status of each group of batteries in detail. Error code and set the battery power display format. It is recommended to choose voltage display, which is more accurate. Advanced settings require you to enter the password 2020 to enter. Here you can customize the acceleration response time of each gear. The maximum output power of each gear. the speed limit of each gear, and the angle required for power start. Return to the main menu to enter the language setting, and you can choose a language you are familiar with. Return to the main menu again to enter the password setting. To turn on or off the power on password, you need to enter the password. The default password is 0000. When resetting the password, you need to enter the old password first, and then enter the new password twice to confirm. After the Bluetooth unlocking function is turned on, 
If you need to enter a password when turning on the device, you can enter the interface without a password after connecting to Bluetooth. In the Bluetooth level distance setting of the main menu, the larger the value set, the longer the supported connection distance. If you need to restore the display to its initial state, you can perform a factory reset operation here. Next, I will demonstrate how to connect to Bluetooth and show the app functions. Open the Bluetooth option on the main menu page, open the ByteGo app on your phone, and complete the connection by scanning the code. The main page shows various riding parameters, single trip mileage, speed, total riding time, average speed, maximum speed. View more settings here. Click Go to start the navigation function. Some of its functions are paid, you can choose to use them freely.